activity, we're going to learn a little bit about binary code. Now, if you're like me and know nothing at all, this is something new for you. If you know a little bit about it, this is going to be easy. So we're going to make a bracelet or a necklace with our name spelled out in binary, or you could spell out any other word that you wish. All right, so let's get going. Binary is basically a computer code. It's a series of ones and zeros that represent different things on the computer. So when you're seeing a picture, you're basically seeing a series of ones and zeros that represent that particular picture. So for this activity, we're going to make a series of colored beads that represent our names. You're going to need some string, preferably elastic -y string, or you can use fishing wire or regular bead string. Now, if you use fishing wire or bead string, you are going to need the clips and the clasps to actually make your bracelet. Then you're going to need three different color beads. I have a couple different colors over here on the side, but I'm just going to pick three different colors to use, and I will explain that in a moment. You're also going to need some scissors, and you're going to need the binary code alphabet, which you can print out using the link below. You're also going to need a pen or a pencil to write out your name in binary. So first, we're going to need to see how long our names are going to be in binary. So I'm going to take the binary alphabet that I have printed out here, and I'm going to look to see how long each letter in my name is going to be, how many beads I'm going to use for each letter. So the first letter in my name is L, so I'm going to find L down here. Now, the black squares represent zeros and the white squares represent ones. So L is going to be represented by a 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So that's going to be one color bead, another color bead, and then you're going to follow the pattern. After that, you're going to move on to the next letter in your name. And before you do that, you're going to want to put a different color bead in between each set of letters. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you spell out your name in binary. And that's going to give you a good idea of exactly how long your name might be in beads. Here I have it out. So it's right. This is how long L-E-A-H, four letters are, Leah. And I also have it up here spelled out nicely with each letter separated. So that gives you an idea of exactly how many beads and how long your name is going to be in binary. So you can figure out if you're going to make a bracelet or if you need a necklace. And this would make a great gift for other people in your family. So to start off, judging by how long your name is, you're going to cut a piece of your string. Now, if you're using fishing wire, this is where you want to make sure that you either tape down one piece so the beads don't fall off the other side, or you can just keep it open. And then you're going to need to close it later. You'll close the ends later with either your clasps or you're going to tie it off if you have your elastic -y string. So first, let's spell out the first letter in our names. Mine is L, so I'm going to look at my L on my alphabet here or even on the other side and figure out which color is going to represent which number. So I'm going to pick white is going to be my zeros and green are going to be my ones. And then I'm going to use gray for the middle. So my first letter is L. So I'm going to put a zero is white. And then I have a one is green. Then I have two more zeros. So I add two more whites, two more ones, and then two more zeros. And then I'm going to need my gray. Now I can go ahead and put this on my bracelet or I can continue to spell out the next group, which my next one is going to be E. And you're going to continue this so you can bead as you go or spell it all out and then bead all at one time. So let's try that and come back. Okay, so I have beaded my name. This is how about how long it is. 
my name only has four letters, so it's relatively short. I have lots more space I need to fill up. So if you have more space to fill up, that's when you want to just use your color bead that represents your spaces between. You can just fill up the rest of your bracelet with that color bead. And if you've left both sides open so far, you can go from either side and just fill it up so it ends up with the even amount of beads on both sides. And then you can kind of measure as you go. So this one is about right for my wrist. Now you can add a couple more beads or not, depending on how long you want it or how tight you want it. Then all you're gonna do is if you have the elastic, you're going to just tie off your bracelet. Tie it off. I would double knot it. And then you can tuck, you can cut and tuck the rest of the excess string. So I tuck some of it back through one of the first couple beads. And then you can just cut it off where you want it to cut off. Or you can just leave a nice little bow or string hanging off. And then you have a lovely bracelet. And you can spell out just about anything you want. And after you have tied everything off, you have a lovely bracelet that says your name in binary.